all right guys good morning and good morning to the beautiful view here at uh i guess isla morada at the keys check it out look at the condo we just moved the condos to the keys today well yesterday and look at it oh look at the thing right there and look at this view so we're staying here uh for the weekend with some friends it's pretty good I don't even know what time it is. I know it's late because we went to go to sleep really late. And um, I think it's like, I don't know what time it is. Does anybody know what time it is? I guess nobody know what time it is. So uh, we're just gonna spend the weekend here and uh, see what happens. And so far so good. It's pretty good. Guess who's up at 12.30 in the afternoon. Not in the morning, but in the afternoon. Look, do you get her coffee and check out the, the view. Check out the view. There you go, a million dollar view for a million dollar wife. Wow, well, I kind of like that. <laughs> she had that coffee and protein pancakes, but no. she ate it so fast I couldn't record it. Protein uh, muffins. Oh, protein muffins, my bad. We're gonna have pancakes. Homemade Look at that. Mix. Homemade mix. Big mama homemade mix pancakes on the boat. This was all about, I think this mom Mark was 70 something. 73, 75, I don't even know because we're in the water so we can't really tell what mom marking around. But yeah, it took us two hours. But it was a nice ride. You know, if you've been on the Keys before, it is flat. So we were cruising about 35 miles an hour, just enjoying the ride. Pretty good, pretty good. So just join the weekend here. Yeah. Are you enjoying the weekend? Oh my God. You having fun yet? All right, that was the best breakfast. With that breeze that's running right now. Well, yeah, because we have the front open and the icing glass open. And it's really windy here, so it feels really nice. I'm sorry, I have no makeup. No, no makeup, oh my god! No, no, no! Show them, show them, show them what you got. Oh, looking good. Wow, amazing. Key West style pancakes, man. So here you go, guys. Pancakes on the water. It's all good. Look at check it out. Check it out. Let me bring it, let me bring it up close. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And we're doing it caveman style. Cause uh I don't know where the forks are at. Ooh, super hot. But it tastes good though. Yeah, okay. yeah it feels good. This is called I see hop. I see hop. <laughs> Pancakes. So look at little look at the little babies. Having breakfast with the view. Look at that view. That's that window view. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's the thing about the keys here is it's always flat. Oh, look at that. And guess what? You know what they did after they finished eating breakfast? Went back to lay down. I guess they want to take advantage of the cool AC in the cabin. So I took this time to go ahead and do a little cleaning in the back. We arrived a little bit late and we had to anchor in the deep spot so I kind of had to help Obida get off the boat and the ride wasn't that bad because this beach is about seven miles away from where we're staying so it's a quick ride so now like you see it's full so we're gonna go ahead and try to find our friends but it's an easy find all you have to do is follow the loud music and you'll find Doobie's boat and like you can see everyone's having a great time with friends and met new ones
and here we met the best dressed guy at the sandbar. Well, like you see, everyone's having a good time, and I'm glad that the Florida Keys opened up just in time for us to come visit the beach. But let's go up to the skies and see how really big this place is because as far as I can see I see a lot of people and a lot of boats here so if you've been here before let me know because I'm curious this beach is always like this or people just were in a hurry to get out of quarantine and enjoy the water It's pretty cool. There's a lot of people here hanging out today, but you know what time it is? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? There you go. Yeah, we have today side chicha. What's up? Sausages and churraco at White Marlin Beach. Fresco Channel here hanging out today at White Marlin Beach, and it's it's a nice, the sand's great. Uh it's a lot of cool people's here. And like you guys saw, I see a fan wearing a sandbar life shirt. Thank you, thank you, man, for support here at uh at the keys. So, uh, you know, it's pretty cool hanging out there here. How do you like Juan Marlin Beach? Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice here, right? It's a lot of cool people. Met some neighbors too. We got neighbors from the neighborhood all the way out here. That's pretty cool too. So here's another reason why I like making videos because I could show you guys places like this. Because I've been to the Keys all my life and I've never been there. So this is my first time here. So you see, you get to, you get to see it through the channel. And then if you want to come check it out, you know, you can come check it out. It's called White Marlin Beach. So hopefully that's what I'm planning to do in the future. You know, go ahead and bring you guys some more uh, different locations. There you go, guys. It's almost done. Some sausages and churraco, square steak. And we got our first contender right there. What you want, ma'am? You want some food? Or like you can see, we have new visitors for lunch, but it's okay because we have enough sausages and churraco for all of them. And that is part of the sandbar life. You get to share your food, drinks, and music with everybody around you. And that's how you get to meet great people that enjoy the same things you do. And if you notice, the kids are kind of impatient and in a hurry in eating their food because you know why. Yes, they want to go take advantage of this time and go out in the dinghy and have some fun. Let's take another look 
at this place here because it's amazing how many people are in the water enjoying this beautiful day. Oh, like all good things, everything comes to an end. It was a great day here at White Marlin Beach. Got to meet a lot of people that watch the channel, but it's time to pick up and go back. And we started to pick up just in time because if you see, there's a storm building up ahead of us. So like you already know, it was a quick ride back. And like you notice, it's getting dark and ugly. But you know how it is, that's the Florida weather. One minute you're in the middle of a sunny paradise and the next minute you're caught in a crazy rainy storm. But we're gonna hang out here, catch a quick dinner before the storm hits us and head out to go to sleep. How you doing guys and good morning and welcome, welcome to paradise. You know why I call it paradise? Because as long as I'm on the water, I consider paradise. And we're still here at Isla Morada for the whole weekend. It's like, I think it's about 10.30, I think. So I don't know, like you notice I don't have a watch, but the kids were out fishing, they just came back in. And we actually stay here on the dock because I have friends staying over here at the hotel. And it turned out really good because it's perfectly flat at night here at the dock. So I slept like a baby. We all slept like a baby. Well, actually, uh, Big Mama and Gabby and the dog, Yuli, still sleeping. But we're here gonna enjoy the, the rest of the day. And uh, it's been fun, it's been great. And by the way, I met a lot of people this weekend here, Aida Morada, and they blame me for a lot of things. But you know what? Good things. A few people blame me that because of me, they bought a boat. Uh, because of me, now they take their family out fishing. Because of me, 
they actually switched over from Yamaha to Suzuki. So, I mean, that's a, to me, that's a good blink. You know, I'm glad uh, I could be a positive impact in their life. But yeah, it's been great meeting everybody here. I met people here from Tampa. They're, I guess, actually vacationing. Uh, Tampa, Naples, Orlando, Miami, and here. Uh, also natives here that live at Isla Morada or the Keys. And they actually watch the channel. Nice to have met you in person. So let's keep having fun and see what the rest of the day brings us. Let's go. They're gonna take me to their secret spot under the bridge. They say there's some big fish there, but they haven't caught none yet. So we'll see what it is. At least I'll film it if we don't catch it. So let's see what happens. Let's go, Kevin. Could he play? Huh? Could you play with this? Yeah. Oh, So they're gonna try to show me something. Show me something I don't know. How about the Florida Keys? I don't even know what bridge this is, but it's pretty nice though. They have a, like fishing docks up there. There you go. Fishing docks for the people. It's pretty cool. So we're here trying to test our luck. You got one? Uh oh, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Grunt. Come all the way to the keys to get a yellow grunt. Oh, somebody's snapping at it, okay. It's right there. Come on, man. Oh, no, I took it now. Yeah, I took the whole thing. No, no, no. Oh, man. That was my excitement. Couldn't catch it, though. We're being bombarded. Guess by who? See the birds up there? You know what we're getting bombarded with? <laughs> so I don't know. Might have to move. I'm trying a different spot. I just got a bite, but I couldn't catch it. All right. Let me see. All right. So we've been here about an hour, an hour and a half. No luck. Just two grunts and a needlefish. So uh, I think we're gonna call it a day and catch some breakfast because I'm getting hungry. So they haven't they haven't shown me nothing new. Look at the ruggies. That's slow. It's 12 o'clock. It's midnight. The bike is slow. You guys are ruggies. Well, we under the shade though. Check it out. No sun for us. So I guess we're going to call it a day and head back. Another adventure on the dinger.
Oh, my mind's up. All right. Look at that hydro. Chilling. I think it's been the longest in the water. Three, three days. Three days in the water, man. All right, guys. So we made it back to the boat. Move locations. And guess what time it is? What is it? A late, late what? A uh, late, late. We need to get a new electric one. Breakfast. Because it's like, I think one o'clock in the afternoon. We kind of overslept today. Cool. She did. I think you have to get a new skill and kind of overused and it's tough on it kind of wore off so i guess is uh the eggs are sticking that's the next project getting a new uh skillet fryer oh yep another million dollar breakfast this thing right here we're feeding an army look you see all those eggs right there for him throw this away for the little Stay baby there. i take it today is going to be one of those slow recuperating days because everybody's lazy as they've been quiet here frescoes over there fishing uh the people we, we came to visit here at the keys they're usually outside but you see them right there it's pretty quiet too and guess what my people are doing? I'm gonna do the same thing as them because it's kind of hot outside. Check this out. See? They got the, check this out. Check, I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna show you guys something right quick. Look, look, look. I'm gonna show you guys something. Look. What's the temperature inside here? 75. And look at that. And I was sweating outside. Look at that. Sleepy head. Well, while we cooled off in the cabin and enjoyed the cool AC, Fresco tested his luck outside. I mean, he tried his hardest, but all he could catch was a few undersized snappers that he had to throw back. But I'll give him an A for effort because I always tell him, if there's a will, there's a way. And I consider fishing to be a lucky sport. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. But like you can see, it winded up to be a slow, relaxing, wait, sea-laxing day. But it didn't really matter because we got to enjoy another beautiful day out on the boat. We're actually picking up and getting ready to go because like remember we have a two hour ride on the boat and a, an hour ride back on, a, on, a, on the trailer back home so uh, so it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we want to get back to Miami in uh, daytime but we may, maybe we might stop somewhere or something grab lunch so no I don't know so we'll see we'll see what the day brings us there we go the dinger this is the new way we're doing it we disinflate the two back uh, tubes and then it fits better and we don't have to tie it so it's pretty cool and the day turned out to be beautiful here today too bad we have to uh we're leaving kind of early but i guess till next time and thanks to the people that were here visiting they were a great host and we hanged out with them at the sandbar so uh thanks to them we're here and thanks to doobie and like i said see you guys on the water
enjoy another beautiful ride through the mangroves and all the channels here through the Florida Keys. And like you notice, the ride back, it's much better because it's less wind. And right now we're going to another place that we're gonna be visiting with the Miami Boat Rally. It's called Gilbert's Tiki Bar. So we decided to stop in the middle of nowhere. Now we actually, we know where we're at, but we're just in the middle of the bay here in Miami. We're about 25 minutes away from the boat ramp, but everybody's crying because they're hungry and I'm hungry actually. And we're gonna have some lunch on the run. What time is, what time is? Nope. No sausages, hamburgers. hamburgers. So the ride was actually turned out to be great because if you guys have been here at the, uh, the Keys, you know here that the water is always flat. Maybe windy, a one to four foot chop. But other than that, it's normally flat like today. Today is less than one. So we're actually cruising, cruising at 36 miles an hour and we're taking about two hours to get back. But, so it's pretty good. Check out the view. I'm gonna show you guys the view here. Look, everywhere you look is water. We're in the middle of nowhere. Check it out, look. Look at that. We're in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. So it's a full view right here. Full view while we have lunch. All right, so here we go, the little burger. This is called Ocean View Burger. Fresco Channel Ocean View Burger. In the middle of the bait, right here. Nothing. Pretty good, man. So what do you think about the Ocean Fresco Channel burger? Do you like it a lot? I was gonna eat just one, but I'm gonna eat another one. Mm, what do you think? No Three. Bread. No bread. Wow, it's some hungry Either peoples. Nine. Hungry peoples. So here we go. Started with 12. Now look at it. Everything is almost done. Wow. So a little snack before heading home. You know. Well, how was your weekends? It was great. Good. It was great, something different. I like the dinghy a lot. You like the dinghy? Yeah, I've seen you went fishing a lot. Didn't catch much, but you went fishing a and lot. I, got a, I think I got a tan. You got a tan? Well, you got a avocado on your hand. I don't know about a tan, but you got an avocado. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos of us here visiting the Florida Keys, Isla Morada, and White Marlin Beach. 